Hey guys, yeah, we're live here on Canal Boulevard, and of course the biggest thing for people to understand right now is that Canal Boulevard East, all throughout here, both lanes still shut down at this hour because of this fire here at this high rise. I'm going to step out of the way. Still a very active scene going on here. There, of course, multiple fire trucks. They've been moving them out one by one here, trying to get this scene deconstructed so they can get the road back open, but that fire did start at about 415 in apartment number 708. That's up on the top of the second building, the furthest building right now. Fire crews telling me that at this moment they've got uh, CO officers inside of the uh, of the building going floor by floor. They've got one starting at the bottom floor and moving up, one at the top floor moving down, trying to make sure that all the carbon monoxide levels are okay. And as they clear each floor, people are being allowed back inside of the building. Right now, it seems. Most everybody has been allowed back inside right now, but I'm pretty sure that those officers are still inside trying to figure out if it is completely safe to be inside the building. Uh, so far, no problems. Um, only minor injuries to report here, minor smoke inhalation injuries. Um, the, the, the woman who owned apartment 708, I'm hearing from a neighbor, was visiting her mother at the time of the fire, so she wasn't injured. But the only sad part about this, there was a dachshund inside the apartment. Fire crews tell me that that dog did not make it through the fire. So minor smoke damage to the other apartments in the building. Uh, they're moving right, right back in now and surveying the damage. The only fire damage was contained to 708 there. Maintenance telling me earlier today that all of the walls in this apartment are solid concrete. Um, and that allows uh, uh, that, that fire to be contained and on a regular basis whenever things like this happen, those, that fire doesn't spread. So right now only one person has been greatly affected by this, but still you know, tragic for that person. And, and the biggest thing to recognize right now, Canal Boulevard East still shut down at this time, so try and find different avenues uh, around this area. So, of course, keep it updated uh, with us all day on our website and tonight on Eyewitness News. But for right now, reporting live in Charleston, Sean Delancey, Eyewitness News. Well, Dan, right now, fire crews are going from apartment to apartment, making sure that everyone made it out of the building with their lives. And so far, it does seem like everyone made it out of the building safe. The only injuries to report right now are minor smoke inhalation injuries. But fire crews said that that fire started around 415 in the apartment in apartment 708 of the Terrace Park East High Rise along Canal Boulevard. Nearly every unit of the Charleston Fire Department responded and using the ladder truck quickly knocked that fire down. Firefighters said that the fire department, uh, the fire damage was contained to one apartment, but smoke and water damage are going to be an issue for many living here. One man who lives right across the hall from where the fire started says getting out of the building was difficult with so much smoke. I wasn't sure where it was coming from because even the hallways were totally uh, dark, black. Yeah. Uh, just kind of had to feel my way through. Curtis also says that the woman who lives in that apartment was away at the time visiting her mother, but a dachshund dog was left inside the apartment. No word yet on the condition of that dog or when people will be allowed back inside to survey the damage. And you can just see here how you know both lanes of Canal Boulevard are still shut down at this time. So keep it tuned to us uh, right here on Eyewitness News. We're going to be coming back to you in about 15 minutes and over on our website, WCHSTV.com, for the latest. But for right now, reporting live in Charleston, Sean Delancey. Eyewitness News.